How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video of the RC007 40 channel 5.8 gigahertz video glasses. Let's open up the box and see what we got. We got the instruction manual. Put that on the side. We got the goggles itself right here. And there was a foam pad covering it. It's very light. This thing is so light. Wow. And it's very small too. All right. Very nice. Very nice. There is the frequency and the channel button here. And the power plug right there. The DC in. And the antenna plug right here. And the audio video in right there the menu button and the search button all right the straps pretty cool it's pretty good okay there's a back strap okay probably where you put the battery right here and yes it's got velcro you can adjust it to your size and it's pretty decent the elastic is nice and strong but the goggle itself is very light so it's perfect, I think. All right. Let's see the inside. There's the uh, Fresno lens right there. And it's got a plastic uh, covering on the Fresno lens. I can take that off. And this one already comes with the facial foam soft sponge thingy already glued on. Nice, nice. It's in two pieces. It's cut in half, as you can see there. Top and bottom. And I believe so. Just the top and bottom piece. All right. Let's take a look and see what else we got in the box. Okay. There must be the battery in here. Let's take a look. Okay. It is 7.4 volt, 1650 milliamp size battery. It's Iching Smart USB rechargeable battery. Input is 5 volt, 2 amps. All right. And it looks very familiar, this little plug. It might be able to fit in the Fat Shark goggles. I'm not sure, but I'll test it out later. All right. Put that down. And we also have the audio video cord. And. The USB charging cord as well for the battery and that is really nice the USB charging cord for the battery okay there's the uh, the charge plug the micro USB uh, port right there and we also have the 5.8 gigahertz 3 dB antenna flexible straight antenna all right and that is about it in the box Okay, I got the antenna screwed on already in there. And as you can see, it swivels and you can bend it down and up if you want. Now let's go ahead and put the battery in there. In the back strap. Place the battery like so right here. I found out this is the easiest way. And put the Velcro closure and just close it up. And it stays perfect. It has little grooves and it won't slide off or slot, you know. It won't come off. All right, and get the DC in and just plug it in right in there. And you are good to go. It's perfect. Nice. And the power is on already. Nice. So let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, right on the upper left top corner, it has the frequency and the signal. And on the right top corner it has the battery uh, level all right now let's go ahead and press the search button and look at that it's automatically searching for the best channel nice going through all the channels let's hit the menu button there's the brightness controls there's the contrast there's the color and language. And again, it says reset. 
and it goes blank and brightness all over again and then you can change it by the plus and minus settings right here so let's go ahead and do that now brightness going down by one click contrast also one click and the color saturation also one click and language is English and reset button okay that's all the functions there is on this baby here so you can change the frequency and the channels uh, by manually pressing these as well so let's go ahead and do that let's see on the top left corner there oops it says a7 I'm getting a lot of light from the top a7 b7 e7 f7 r7 a7 by pressing the frequency button now let's press the channel button eight nine oop, one two three four five six seven eight eight ch channels and five frequency a b e f and r so 40 channels in all all right let's test it test it out with a uh, vtx okay i got the uh, jjrc h22 again um using the 798t the fx all in one and i got it powered on already so here's the box i'm gonna put it right in front of the box and let's see what we got here frequency is not set at the moment there you go the frequency is not set and let me press the search button on the top here the search now let's go ahead and search and it's locked in at channel a-7 nice now let's see what happens move it around here all right all right now let's see what happens when I press the the frequency frequency and the channel buttons here now let's change the channels a7 a8 still got connection here and then a1 nope two three four five six seven so this channel is the uh, strongest channel here now let's go to b and skim through i also got channel connection here which is pretty cool now let's go to e and flip through those channels nope now f i also got connection on channel f there you go and the race band channel and i also got connection on the r channel as well there you go so all kinds of channels and it's a really nice receiver actually uh you you can choose whatever uh, chan uh, frequency that uh, best suits you and if you're racing with somebody else they can choose a different channel as well so you have flexibility nice all right so let's go outside and test this thing okay we got the rc007 goggles out here and i got my phone uh situated so i can record the screen um and also what i do have is the xkx251 with the micro vtx on top of the canopy piggybacking so we'll check that out with the fpv flight and see what kind of a distance uh, this thing has i still have the original uh, stick style antenna the 5.8 gigahertz antenna that is supplied with the uh, rc007 goggles so let's check it out okay here we go uh, right away we are going straight towards those couple of bushes uh, one on the left is a hundred meters away and the one on the right is about 108 or 9 meters away from the starting point which is the car and we are making that u-turn there was a couple of static there but nothing big the RC007 goggles is doing a fantastic job so far but as you can see on the screen it's slightly blurry and if you look close enough you are able to make out tiny little pixels 
oh, there's a bunch of static there turning around the opposite side where the car is blocking the transmission. So all in all, it's still doing a fantastic job. All the other goggles I've tested does the same thing that gives off a lot of static when you're passing through in between an object like the car, tree, what have you not. So it's doing a pretty good job. We are circling around that 100 meter bush one more time and it's looking pretty decent. All in all, this RC007 goggles is doing a great job. The only uh, problem with it, I I'm looking at it is just the blurriness because of the uh, 272 pixel count. Here I'm making a closer turn around the car and there was a couple of static there, but that's minor. You are still able to see where you're going and that is the main thing with this FPV goggles. As long as you can see where you're going, you are good. So now here we are going back towards the 100 meter bush and making our final run and although it's blurry it is still fantastic you can see that bush it's pretty clear in view and you see the second bush so and you see the ground you see everything else around you a couple of static but that is minor now we're going to land right here and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use this clip on the left i'm going to do a split screen and i'm going to do the Fast Shark Goggles DVR recorded video on the right side of the half of the split. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here we are. There's the Fast Shark DVR recorded video on the right and the RC007 Goggles uh, video that I just recorded right directly from the goggles itself with my phone on the left. It is the same uh, video clip that we just saw a minute ago. Uh, right away you can see that the Fat Shark goggles is crystal clear at that 480 pixel resolution whereas the RC007 goggles on the left at 272 uh, pixel resolution is a lot blurrier. But keep in mind you are still able to see where you're going. There's a lot of static on both uh, devices here. The Fat Shark goggles is extended static. Um, on the opposite side where the car is blocking the transmission. So the RC007 goggles is doing fantastic as far as reception is concerned. There's a little static there, but that's minor. And we're going back towards the 100 meter bush one more time, uh, making a U-turn around it. So it's doing really, really good. So far, so good. The only downside with the RC007 goggles is like I said, it's the resolution. It is a little blurry, but you are still able to make out where you're going. And that is the most important thing on an FPV goggles, as long as you know where you're going. Here we are making another pass around the car one more time, making another circle to see the transmission here right around the opposite side of the car. Not that much at that proximity. So that's really good. So all in all, this RC007 goggles is fantastic. It's really light. It's a very good beginner entry level goggles if you're on a budget. But if you spend a little more, of course, you can get a little bit better resolution uh, goggles. But the RC007 goggles, I have no complaints. And it is using the factory stock stick 3 dbi antenna. So, you know, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna land it here one more time. Uh, what I'm going to do on the next clip is I'm going to be wearing the RC goggles and we're going to record on the Fat Shark goggles. So let's have a take a look at that. Okay, I got the uh, Fat Shark goggles recording. And I'm going to give it a cover and I'm going to be using the uh, JJRC H22 with the 798T VTX ready to go. And I've got my 007 goggles on my head so let's go all right here we go once again this time with the h22 quadcopter with the micro 798t vtx on it everything looks a lot clearer um, because i'm recording on the goggles of the fat shark dvr so it's the 480p resolution but i am looking through the rc007 goggles which has less resolution 
but I'm still able to make out where I'm going but it feels like we did this before so let's get a change of scenery here all right now we're at the horse park doing a little FPV test and I'm gonna go through this little section here and I was still able to make out the resolution of the horse stables made out of pipes with the um, RC007 goggles I had no problem with that now I'm just flying around around the tree all in all the RC007 goggles is pretty decent pretty decent you are able to see where you're going watch this I'm gonna go through this area right here and I was able to fly through that with no problem so the v, uh, RC007 goggles man you gotta give it credit it's pretty decent I have to land there because of the battery uh, kind of ceased to provide enough power but all in all it's really nice you are able to make out everything you are able to see everything but just when I was making this little pass here the wind started to pick up as you can see so I'm trying to fight the wind the wind is pushing me towards the left so here I am going with the wind it's going a lot faster on speed number one so I'm trying to get back to where I was but uh, quad cutter is having a hard time I have to click onto speed number two right around here and it gets me going on speed number two it was fine so the wind wasn't that strong here I am flying around the horse park there's always nobody here nobody with horses here early in the morning that is late in the afternoon that's a different story but I'm circling around having fun with the FPV so these goggles are fantastic I mean as long as you don't mind uh, the 272 pixel clarity uh, you are able to still make out wherever you're flying so it's fantastic for somebody that wants to get into FPV are on a budget good enough goggles anyway I'm gonna come to a landing right around here so please subscribe share and have a great day